Another windy day. Yesterday was, we were inside all day. I felt so bad. Lefty got upset stomach yesterday. My fault. Uh, I gave him an egg. He eats eggs sometimes. And I gave him an egg and he hasn't had one in probably a month. And I guess it didn't set right with him. And he, he upchucked it. And then the rest of the day, he was... Um, I could tell is he didn't eat anything the rest of the day. He's back okay this morning. He ate his breakfast and but he didn't have a good day or or a good night. I felt bad for him. And he likes to go outside when he has an upset stomach, I think in case he has to use the bathroom. And I couldn't let him go outside yesterday because of the wind. I mean, it was really rocking yesterday and it went all night. So he's back to normal this morning. He's good. I felt really bad about that. And so I, I told Tara uh, a couple days ago that Lefty's off everything except his dog food. Just because uh, I want to make sure that nothing, that irritation that he had on his muzzle there, it's just really taken a long time. Like it, you know, it's an area and like this part will heal, then this will become affected and then it'll heal. And it just seems to, I mean, it's been like a month and it's ongoing. And it's not bad, but it's like a, almost looks like a rash kind of thing. And I just want to make sure that nothing that I'm giving him is causing him irritation like that. So he's, he's on strict dog food and, you know, he's a dog, so that's not like a bad thing. But, um, cause I, you know, I share my, my foods with him. I, you know, we're in this, this trip together. And so when I have a steak, Lefty gets the last bite and... You know, that's how it goes. But I want to make sure that nothing, you know, seasonings or, you know, I just want to make sure he's, that I'm not causing him discomfort. So, so yeah, really super windy yesterday. Gusts, I mean, it was rocking. The truck was really moving yesterday. And, you know, it was okay. It wasn't hot or anything. We did okay. Well, we've been all day inside the windstorm. It's gusting pretty good. It's after dinner. And I'm about to have a snack. And I have to show y'all what, what this is I'm about to eat. Tara gave this to me. I've never seen anything like it in my life. So this is... It's cured meat. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy, beef jerky, Cheez-Its. You've seen my Cheez-Its, right? This is a whole nother level of beef. Okay, the ingredients, beef, salt, vinegar, black pepper, coriander. It says this is South Africa's favorite snack. It's called Biltong, B-I-L-T-O-N-G. is made from 100% pure lean beef and can be eaten as a healthy snack anywhere, anytime. Biltong does not require refrigeration. Humidity is the enemy. Store in a cool, dry place. So this meat has been cured. I could drive nails with this. This is the hardest... <laughs> This is the hardest thing. So I have to put kind of my all into this to cut it. I'm gonna support the table a little with my leg. So I kind of shave it off. It's, it's like the meat is all compressed in on itself the way it was dried. It's so flavorful, but um, you know, very firm. But if you're a, if you really want to experience, I believe she ordered this right off Amazon. And this was a big, long piece of meat in here folded over and she gave me a big hunk of it. And I've been whittling down, literally whittling it down over the last couple few weeks. If you're in for an experience like you've maybe never had before, try this. It really is incredible. It's packed full of flavor. And because of the way it's cured, I just have it in a Ziploc bag up in the cupboard. 
It doesn't need refrigeration. You could carry this in your rig for months. It's really good. There's a lot of flavor. But it's about as far from beef. Not, not once you get it kind of chewing up and moisturized, it kind of resembles beef in your mouth again. But man. <laughs> now today, here we are still. 15 mile an hour winds, pretty constant. And it's a cold wind. So it's uncomfortable to be outside. And Lefty was out there. We went for a nice long walk this morning and then he laid out in his chair for a little bit, but now he's jumped back inside just because of that wind. It's it's chilly. I mean, it's supposed to be like 68 today, you know, and sunny, but a cold wind is just not comfortable. So we're inside. So I'm going to post um I'm going to post the video today for the the camera and then you'll see also the the gulu is back up for a, another drawing we're gonna do the fxt camera giveaway but before we do that we're gonna be redrawing for the gulu battery booster one of the rules that i have in place in all of the giveaways is that the winner has to contact me within 72 hours of it being announced and unfortunately Mario has not contacted me. I, I I reached out, I replied to his original comment, asked him to get a hold of me. I haven't heard back from him either on that comment or through email or Instagram or Facebook. And I do that 72 hour just to keep things moving. You know, I don't want to be waiting a week or two weeks. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't got a lot of infrastructure here. This is not a professional organization. I'm just a guy and I'm just trying to move these things along. So I've always put that clause in the rules for 72 hours and it's never been an issue before. Uh, all, all the giveaways, including the, the Blue Eddy that we just did, people always contact me right away. So this is the first time I've ever had to do this. And Mario, if you see this later on, I'm sorry, brother, but, um, I just have not heard from you and I can't, there's nothing else I can do to reach out to you except through your original comment and through the video that I posted. So first we're going to redo the Gulu drawing. Uh, so I'm on the uh, comment picker website here. I've got the URL. I'm going to put in the keyword of Gulu and we're going to pick a new winner. Here we go. 656 entries. Let's pick a winner. Buddy Duncan. Lefty wants his seat back. <laughs> Dang right. So Buddy, please get a hold of me within 72 hours so I can get this Gulu shipped out to you. Congratulations, Buddy. And I'm going to go to your comment and reply to that also so you get this video plus uh, a reply to your comment. Hopefully that'll trigger you to get a hold of me. Let's move on. Now we've got the FXT camera system. A lot of interest in this. Paste the link in here. Filter for keyword FXT. All right, here we go. Let's see how many entries. Not as many on the camera system because obviously it's not suited for everyone. 275 entries. Sounds about right. Let's pick a winner. Here we go. Lucky Chow 99. FXT, this makes a great rear view system. Love the quality. Excellent. Lucky Chow, you get in contact with me. Um, I will reply to your comment and you shoot me an email and then I'll get these shipped right out to you. Thank you all again for being with the channel and helping me to get rid of this gear in a way that's helping you guys and making me feel good that I'm not just, you know, selling it is not something that I was comfortable doing. I did sell one thing that was provided to me a while back and I wasn't comfortable with it. And I've had people tell me, you, know, you should sell this stuff. And I just, I'm not comfortable doing that for what, you know, for whatever reason. It just, it didn't sit right with me. You know, I, I would love to keep all this stuff, but I just honestly don't have a need for it. And as long as I can get that company's name out and promote it 
and test the item to make sure it's good so I can share it with you guys and I don't need it I'm gonna give it to somebody um, one thing I will sell though somebody commented the other day that if I had a patch because I was talking about the stickers they said if you had a patch I would buy a patch well I have patches I really hadn't thought about these I had these made last fall and just kind of put them in the cabinet uh, these are iron-on patches with uh, the Campulence Man logo iron-on they're two and a half inches in diameter so they're perfect for a cap or you know the breast of a shirt or a hoodie or something like that uh, I've only got fifty twelve dollars for these they were a little bit costly but twelve dollars I think is a good price if you want any of these, I'll add the info down in the video descriptions. Uh, you know, same links for PayPal or Cash App or Venmo, and you just put uh, 12 bucks and you tell me you want a patch and you give me your address. Same, same as the sticker, it's just 12 bucks. So I'll put all that info down in the video description. So if you want stickers or if you want some of these patches, and I, again, I've only got 50, so if you want one of these, 12 bucks. They're nice. They're embroidered. These are good embroidered patches. I had them. They, they're nice. Okay, so we've redone the Gulu drawing and we got the FXTs handed off. Thank you everybody for participating. The next, the next giveaway that's coming up is going to be another power station. Now, I've got I've to get this thing out. I haven't even opened the boxes yet. Honestly. Haven't even opened the boxes yet. So I've got to get this thing out. I'm going to run it through its paces. It has good reviews. I, I know the product. that You've seen them all over. I'm not really disclosing who makes it yet. You'll see that coming up. But it's a high-end. This is a high-end power station. This is, not, this is not the little one you carry around. This is a big, very big. And my back can attest to that from slugging it back and forth in this truck for the last few months. A and two 100 watt solar panels that go with it this is a monster kit there's going to be a lot of interest in this one more so than the blue eddy i think uh, this next one coming up and then after that we're going to have the high boost so i'm going to be showing that to you in upcoming videos so everybody thank you for being here and uh, congratulations to the winners Gonna check it out. Oh, this came from Tom. Tom, thank you. Despite your great clues that you sent me, I have no idea what's in this box. I think my my guess was um, based on your clues. My guess was oh, wow, he didn't hit the camera. My guess was a uh, electronic heated massage chair with LED leading or LED reading light, but you said no. <laughs> Good Custom make your box here. No way. No way. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Dude. <laughs> How did you know I needed a new drill? Did I? Yeah, I think I talked about the chuck on mine is shot. And the Harbor Freight one that I found last year, they don't sell the charger for it anymore. Because it's one they don't sell. So that went in the recycle back in New York and a bit set. You are, man, Tom, you just made my day. I kid you not, I was just looking at DeWalt drills because I wanted to get one that, you know, possibly has the same battery as my impact driver. Can you let me enjoy my moment here? Are you gonna help me open it? Left. Can you step off? Can you go off screen here and exit stage left? Did you just burp on me? 
Okay. I, I was just looking at DeWalt drills not two, three days ago um, to find one that uses the same battery setup as my impact driver. I don't know if this does, but what a coincidence. And you did, you did make it a point to share with me that this is made in the USA. Thank you. I, I would never have guessed that this is what was in the box. Yellow and black. Don't rip it into little pieces like you're doing. Come on! Hey! Left. Okay. Oh, left. That's... Left. God dang it. You know I gotta go chase down all these little pieces. Hey. Do you mind? Huh? Do you mind? What are you doing? All the toys he has out here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And this is a really nice bit set. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's put the box away. Got ah, ah, ah. Left. Okay, okay. 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 See how nice folks are? Yep. Well, sure, now you get all quiet. You chased Dotty and Tara away a little while ago because you went nutso. Don't, <coughs> don't give me those crazy eyes. Don't touch my razor blade. <coughs> oh, I hate these things. Okay, we have a package. Now I know this came from Tom, and if it's anything like the last box he sent, I'm gonna love it. Ah, hey, oh my gosh, right off the bat. Man, who doesn't love, hey, hey. Who doesn't love flashlights? Stop. No. Stop. G2X Tactical Surefire. I like it. Lithium batteries. 600 lumens. So cool. Oh my gosh, look at all the... Wow. A real Leatherman. I have never had a real Leatherman. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. 25 year warranty. Lefty? Tom, do you have dogs? Is that why he's so interested in smelling this? Huh? This is mine, buddy. This thing is a beast. Stop. No. I have a fake one of these. Wait. Stop. Substantially smaller than this. A real Leatherman. Oh my gosh. No. Ah! <laughs> One of my favorite channels that I watch, Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Oh, excellent. Wow, that is good. Oh, a headlamp. Lefty. Come on, give me five minutes. A headlamp, so cool, with batteries included. This is excellent. That's enough. Oh, Lord. This is great for a night. Come here. Come here. Come here, right here. Sit. Sit. Hey, you like that? You want to wear the headlamp? This is great for nighttime visits to the potty. Hands off, right? All the light, two free hands. Oh, wow, a real buck knife. You are kidding me. I was just watching a uh, project farm. He did a video on comparing all these different knives, and the buck knife was one of them that he did, and I really enjoyed the look of it. A buck 110 folding hunter knife. 
Wow. And a, a belt pouch. Way better quality than the knives I have. Ah! There's something for goofball. Here. An antler. Maybe that'll keep him from bothering me while I finish the video. So great. You are so awesome, man. 123 lithiums. That's the size that's in the flashlight. And some triple A's. All you guys that are geeks like me, you can never have enough triple A's. And look at all of this. Oh my gosh. Tom, thank you. On top of what you already sent me, this blows me away. Um, I'm like a kid on Christmas right now. Thank you. So thanks everybody for being here watching the videos. I hope you're all doing very well. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see y'all again really soon. Man, 12 minutes? God, I can talk. <laughs> Too much.